In his Netflix documentary series 2022, the Duke of Sussex made a remark about women in the royal family being pressured to conform to a certain mold. It's safe to say that the Princess of Wales found the remark offensive. During their conversation about nutshells, the Duke of Sussex seemed to brag about his defiant side. He made the following statement, I think a lot of people in a family, especially men, might be tempted or want to marry someone who fits the model rather than someone you might be destined to be with. It's the difference between letting your emotions guide your decisions and using logic alone. Most, if not all, of my mom's decisions were undoubtedly driven by her emotions and I am my mother's son, the Duke of Sussex continued. Royal expert Daniela Elser, in an article for news.com.au, refuted the notion that the Prince of Wales' brother only married Catherine because she was right for him. She dismissed the accusation, saying that the wild and strange events of 2024 have proved that Catherine cannot be written off as some kind of mold fit. Praising the future Queen's work, Elser referred to the famous Australian essayist Sean Clift, who called her a mean little revolution. She went on to draw attention to the fact that Catherine has been out of the spotlight for the better part of four months due to a health crisis, a major departure from royal traditions that traditionally required family members to put the crown above their personal lives. According to a royal expert, joining the royal family as a woman meant a complete sacrifice of one's own desires, needs, and personality for the good of the monarchy. This practice persisted for generations, selfishly putting the needs of their children and themselves above the needs of the institution. Catherine categorically rejected this. Elser went on to note that the princess rejected any suggestion that she could bend neatly to squeeze herself into a particular mold. And this included her decision to raise her children at the quiet Adelaide Cottage in Windsor, rather than the opulent Kensington Palace. By sending her children to a single-sex school, she also went against royal tradition. Catherine, in the author's opinion, has become increasingly self-confident while showing a pleasing lack of shambolic behavior in her choice of path. Daniela concluded that the Princess of Wales rejected the Duke of Sussex's derogatory term, even though he indirectly insulted the Welsh with his comment about mold. And here's our video, what do you think about it? Don't forget to leave a comment before you go. Thanks for watching and see you soon.